Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, in this video, I'll explain how I could implement Rack application uh, using such technologies as uh, the Aviate uh, Vector Database, um, Llama CPP, and Haystack. Uh, this kind of setup can be used for production application, and uh, the use case I'll be looking into is uh, related to uh, document processing specifically is data extraction from from the invoice document and the best thing uh, about the sample application that I'll be showing to you that it can run locally on your own environment and even it runs on a CPU machine. I'll be using uh, Llama 2 uh, 13 bits model because this model uh, based on my test it beats uh, uh, Llama 2 7b model and for more complex uh, questions it beats also Mistral model. For example uh, when you want to extract data from uh, the table then this 13b model works better comparing to uh, 7b models. Okay so let's uh, see a few examples, few prompts. Um, based on my tests and uh, I'm not running it live because it takes a minute or so to execute it on uh, my local CPU so I, I recorded a couple of examples and I'll go through through, through these examples in uh, over here and the first one the first question first prompt is simple I'm asking about invoice number and by the way uh, this is the uh, text PDF document that I'm using for my tests uh, so it got invoice number, invoice date, seller information on the left, client uh, information on the right side, tax ID for both IBAN. Here we got a table with invoice items. And <clears throat> I asked a couple of questions related to the table. For example, I asked to extract description names, and then I asked to extract uh, those totals per each uh, invoice item line. And there are questions about the, the uh, footer over here where total values are being uh, displayed. Okay, so now let's uh, come back and to the prompts. Then the other question I ask about invoice date and I get the answer and this executes in 96 uh, seconds. What else? I ask about uh, client name, address and tax ID and client is the information av available on the right side of the document and the model is uh, able to get it uh, exactly correct uh, with the answer saying this is the uh, client name, address, tax ID. And in this case more information is being retrieved and uh, the performance, uh, it takes a hit on performance, it, get, it executes in 124 seconds comparing to the simpler equation in 96 seconds. And again this is on uh, local uh, CPU, Intel CPU, and if I would be running, running it on Apple M2, uh, M2 Max for example, then it should be faster. And the backend which interacts with the uh, LLM model uh, is uh, the one I'm using Llama CPP and Llama CPP can run on M2 as well and probably performance will be better in this case. Uh, or this, uh, if you have a GPU, you, of course you could run it on GPU, then it also you'll get better performance. But that's not the, the case. The, the case is that uh, you can run it on CPU in your own private environment without any data traveling to the cloud and, uh, and so on. So there will be no risk to lose any private data in this case. Then I ask a similar question just to get seller information and get the answer. Then I also ask about the IBAN value then I get answer as well. Uh, correct one. And this one is the more complex question and uh, to get this, uh, the, the proper answer for this question I was trying a couple of prompts. Uh, one prompt was not working well but this one uh, specific in this example it works well. I sp explicitly say that it retrieved uh, two values, um, net price and gross worth for the second invoice item specifically. And <clears throat> then I get correct answer in this case, but it took me a couple of prompts to uh, try. Uh, it was not working from the first try. In this case, it returns correct data. This is the 2808 and 12355. If I double check um, the PDF, this is the first value and this is the second value, which is uh, uh, as expected uh, correct. Then say that if gross for value for each invoice item available in the table and then I get short descriptions for each uh, item and then I get uh, prices which are uh, retrieved correctly in this case and uh, it takes 155 seconds, uh, more complex task, more time to execute. 
then I uh, ask to uh, return full name, full descriptions for all the invoice item names. Then I get full descriptions, and since more text is being extracted, it looks like uh, it takes more performance for that. So eight, 189 seconds. Then finally, I get a simple, a simple equation to retrieve the the total amount of the invoice, and um, it executes in 99 seconds. I get correct value here, 212.09, and this is the value which is correct. Then I uh, check another thing. I ask uh, in a single request to uh, return a couple of results. I uh, say that I want to three values, total gross worth, invoice number, invoice date, and I get the values over here. And the, it's in 114 seconds. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so it works uh, well. And... Uh, uh, this data is is coming from the text PDF, and what the job does LLM, it's uh, able to extract relationships, so it can understand uh, where is the total and where are the invoice item lines, just based on an array of text data. So there's no any layout um, analysis by the model; it's just a pure text processing, and uh, this is great, I think, and it will be very helpful in actual practical applications. Okay, now let's uh, walk through the application, and by the way, it's very simple uh, application. You can run it in just a few steps on your own environment. Uh, e there is a readme file available here, and we, we can see that uh, the first step would be to, with Docker to install. Uh, now, the first step actually would be to download uh, Llama 2 13b model and place it in the model file. The link is inside the text file over here. Then uh, the second step would be to install VWrite uh, database uh, through Docker locally also, so that embeddings are not stored in cloud, they're stored locally. Uh, and then uh, the first step install the requirements, uh, then we install, then we run uh, ingest. Uh, command and uh, this uh, one single sample invoice file under the data folder. If you want to add your data, uh, you can uh, replace it and uh, you're free whatever you want to do with that. And so we run Python ingest and this um, step extracts the text data from the PDFs, translates into the uh, vector embeddings and stores uh, into the EFI database. And then finally the next step uh, we run Python main, we provide the question, and this will do all the magic. It will uh, talk to LLM and uh, based on the text data relationships, it will try to uh, fetch the answer for us. Okay, so if you look into the uh, requirements file over here, we can see that we're using Llama CCC Python wrapper for Llama uh, CPP, and uh, we're using a high stack framework to interact with the LLM. Uh, then we're using sentence transformers to create embeddings from raw text and there are some helpful libraries to interact with PDF and the configuration files. Okay, and if you look into the configuration files, I uh, try to extract all the uh, configurable properties from the code to this configuration file so it's easier to read and understand the, the configuration of the project. So uh, by default I'm using uh, those uh, embeddings, uh, mini uh, LM, then there are some properties to uh, communicate with local VWrite database instance. Then this is the model we're using, 13 bits Llama 2, uh, no GPU, running on CPU. And this, those are some parameters that uh, help to uh, basically uh, uh, they set the context of the LLM execution and uh, help to generate better answer, for example, and based on your machine you can uh, you can decrease or increase the numbers and just uh, experiment uh, to see when you get the best results in my case because i was testing with the sing single page invoice documents so i'm using uh, split length to be 1000 quite large just to fit the entire document into the single split and yeah those are related to the lm uh, Prompt answer max length tokens 1000 and model max token limit uh, 1048. So if uh, this doesn't run on your machine, you can try to decrease these numbers and see uh, if it will affect the quality of the result. Okay, this is the Docker Compose file uh, I got from the Vivite uh, website. Uh, uh, from the documentation, you can get the, the sample Compose file 
to set up via weight locally on your own infrastructure through Docker. So for in, in just script, what we do, we uh, read an array of uh, files available under the data folder, then translate them uh, using Haystack uh, uh, API, and finally we store, we create embeddings uh, uh, with um, sentence transformers and store those embeddings uh, in the VIY database. Okay, then there's a main script that you run when you want to ask a question. You pass the question here. Uh, we call RAC pipeline uh, here, and RAC pipeline comes from setup RAC pipeline, and this comes from the LM wrapper. And then once we got uh, the pipeline, we can uh, run uh, the pipeline and provide the uh, provide the question and get back the results. Then we, here we just parse the uh, output and uh, printing it out. So in the next step, I would try to see if it would be possible instead of uh, getting output as a raw uh, string text to get uh, JSON uh, with key value pairs. So let's see how it works. So th this is the plan for the next video. Okay, and the wrapper, the idea of the wrapper is to uh, bring all pieces together. So what it does, uh, uh, it sets up the pipeline here. We uh, again, we uh, initiate the call to the uh, VIY database. We get the prompt. We set up a LM model, uh, set up retriever, and then we construct the pipeline. And all this goes through uh, Haystack API. And Haystack API is quite um, uh, self-explanatory and it's easy to use. Uh, so uh, it's quite helpful in this case. And uh, it hides all the complexity of the, uh, for example, model initialization here. If you look here, we're using prompt model. Uh, and this is from the high stack. And we just provide the model, uh, the path to the, the actual model. And uh, we say that uh, we provide the max length tokens. And uh, the rest, uh, it happens behind the scenes, uh, so hidden by the API. By the way, to uh, be able to invoke uh, Lama CPP, uh, based uh, to invoke LM with Lama CPP for the haystack, we need to provide invocation layer class. And this is the one. I took the code from uh, from this blog, and uh, it's uh, very well in this blog. Uh, it's very well explained how you can uh, basically run with Highstack LLMs, and uh, the full example of the helper class is provided. So I, I took the class from there. The only thing I increased the max tokens to 2048 in order to provide better output from from the LM. Because if I would have here 512 tokens, then um, I would not be able to return, for example, uh, data for uh, the table to include information about for all four items in, in a single response. And the prompt is quite basic. I just say that uh, I want to get the answer based on the query and make your answer short and concise as possible. Because in this case, I'm working with uh, invoices, so I don't want uh, LM to uh, kind of produce any additional information. I just want to get straight the data from the invoice and nothing else. Okay, so yeah, this is the, the summary. And uh, as I mentioned, it's very easy to run it on your own environment. You just uh, uh, download the model, then you create the uh, VIY database locally, um, then you install the requirements, uh, run ingest, and then you run Python main uh, with your question, and the sample invoice document is under the data folder. Uh, if you want to replace it with your own document, uh, put it there and run it. If you uh, have uh, Apple M2 uh, machine, then try it out and uh, uh, you need to install Llama CPP with certain flux to enable uh, uh, to, to enable uh, a Llama 2 model uh, to, to, to run this model on um, uh, M2 hardware with the optimization and you should get uh, better performance results. So if you try on M2, just uh, let me know in the comments how, uh, how fast it runs. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.